about being a psycho, you know? One of the great things about being a psycho is you can spot another psycho from a mile away. You know, that's a really great thing. I can spot them, you know, it's, it's in the eyes. Never look at the costume. Nice people look at the costume. They'll see somebody in like dad jeans, you know, pushing their kid on the swing, you know, the whole nerdy sweater. Hey, how you doing? You believe the summer's already over? I mean, this is crazy, right? Oh, this one here, this one here's got me running around, you know. She's running the house, she's running the house. <laughs> People always like, oh my God, he's so nice. Such a great family man. And I'm just sitting thinking in my head like, dude, that guy is a fucking psycho. He's a psycho. Look at him, see that? That dude is barely hanging on. He is white knuckling it through all the shit he thinks he's supposed to do. All that fucking guy needs, all he needs, he just needs a little nudge. That's it, just a little nudge. You have no idea what that guy's capable of. I would not want to see the hard drive of that man's computer, I'm telling you. Yeah, so I do it all the time. I'm pretty good at it, picking out psychos, and it drives my wife nuts. Like, I remember, like, she was one of the first people that got into Kanye West, right? The great Kanye West, everybody loves him and stuff, right? Oh, shut up. Jesus Christ, why did I come to Nashville? Boo, it's a black artist. You're bringing it up in the rhyming. What the fuck? It's the Grand Ole Opry, man. It's not MTV raps. But I'm stereotyping you. I'm acting like because you're from the South that automatically you're racist, like all the racists are just down here. That isn't true. They're, they, you know, 